Hi, it's Tony Tricilius with Cheap Scrapbook Stuff here with our uh, Wednesday Hump Day Inspiration. And this week I did um, a line from Pebbles. It's by Jen Hadfield. It's called This Is Family. It's a huge collection. Um, and I actually did three layouts because I was inspired three different ways. So quickly, I'll go through the papers. There's a bunch, like 24. First one is Fun Times in the background. And I actually used that. So I'm gonna stick that there. Next is called Fresh Picked in the back side. Uh, snail Mail back side. Bike ride, back side, sending love, and the back side, baking day, and the back side, picnic, and the back side, we are family. Backside. Celebration. You can see so many different uses for this collection. Fall time. And the backside. Family recipes. And the backside. Home sweet home. And the back side, oops. Family life. And the back side. Flower patch. Back side. Growing together. Back side. Golden Field, Road Trip, and the back side, Meal Time, back side, House Plants, and the back side, Chit Chat. Backside, little dominoes, so fun, fun, fun. Fridge art, and the backside. Tag your it, perfect for cards, and the backside. And last one, bits and pieces, and the backside. So there you have it, those are the papers. And now we'll go through um, my layouts. These are the papers that I used on the first one. And here is my layout. So for the background, this one's kind of busy. Um, for the background, I took the picnic baskets and the stripe, uh, cut it in half, put the picnic baskets on the bottom, the stripe on the top. And then I put a strip, big strip, like three inch strip of this one, this one, which is the back side of the tag you're at. Um, and then I put some washi tape strips on there just to kind of set it off a little bit. And then I took um, back side of bits and pieces so this green and the back side of snail mail this pink and I cut smaller boxes of those I want to say that they're three inches by ten I'll measure them um, and then I cut an even smaller box of the front side of the green um, and put that in there. So this one is three layers. This one is only two. Um, and then I took the fun times 
and you're the avocado to my toast and life is a picnic with you. I matted them and I lost my post-it note with what color cardstock this is, but I will look it up and put it in the description for you. And then I took some of the fun um, sticker book pieces and just matted them on pink cardstock and put them on there and also some elements from the ephemera. There's two ephemeras. There's a phrase ephemera, which is the one I used. And there's a regular ephemera, which I did not use, but I could have. Um, so that was the layout. And then I just put two picture mats, but you could clearly um, put more on there if you want, move it around. But that was the first layout I did. Okay, and the second layout. Um, these are the papers I used. And this time I took um, Fresh Picked for the background. And then I put a pretty decent sized strip of the backside of Fall Time. So this gold tone on tone. Um, pretty thick strip. And then again, more washi tape to set it off. And then I took three of the, here, I didn't mat these so we could actually see what I did. Um, I took three of the tags from Tag Your It. So thank you, you are the best, and thinking of you. And I set those uh, on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, I took um, tags from the tag pack. So this is the tag booklet. Um, so I took those three there, and I didn't have any brads. So I actually uh, used our new Nuvo um, vintage drops to make brads in the center of my tags. And then lastly, I took, um, oh, I didn't mat this one either, but it's under the tag, uh, more stickers from the sticker book and embellished the page. And then um, for these photo mats, I used denim and shrimp cardstock and I just kind of reversed them. So that was the second layout. And the third layout, I couldn't help but do a take on the recipe page, uh, recipe card paper, um, especially with the holidays coming and baking. So here was my take on it. Um, and I used baking day for the background and then took a strip on the bottom of the back side of family life. So back side of that one. Again, some washi tape to set it off. And then of course, the recipe card. And I just did one, um, you know, you could do this in a flip flap. You could use two of them because you know, they're back side. Um, to put the whole recipe. My intent wasn't really to put the whole recipe here, but just to kind of put the start of it. Um, and then for the photo mats on this one, I used oatmeal and Mediterranean and this pretty um, heart paper, which is the backside of Golden Field. Um, so there you have it. And then I embellished the page with more stickers, um, both from the six by 12 sticker sheet and the sticker book and the ephemera pack. So there you have it, three layouts with this collection. Um, I will put everything in the description. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, bye-bye.